Welcome to today's episode of Drag Racing Basics. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Either way, I appreciate you spending your most valuable assets, your time to watch my videos and listen to what I have to say. And hopefully I'm inspiring, entertaining, and informative, and mostly inspiring. If you got any questions, please leave them down in the comments. But today, I want to talk about some questions I've been getting lately about air fuel ratio. Uh, when is your motor adjusted right? When is things right where they should be? And that's a term known as stoich or stoichometric. And I'm not going to get into the chemistry side of it, but what it means is you have 14.7 parts of air to every one part of fuel. So I have one part fuel. I have 14.7 parts air. Now at Stoich, your engine's making max power. It's burning as much of its fuel as it can. Let's assume a perfect world scenario. You're burning 100% of the fuel that's going in, 100% of the oxygen that's going in. It's making maximum power. It's absolutely efficient. And if you're living in a great world, it's a happy little engine. But we all know that that's not how most things in life work, and this engine is no different. So it's only going to be Stoich at a certain percentage of the time throughout the throttle position the full wide range of throttle position rpm band workload depending on what you got it doing and in some cases we want it to not exactly be stoich now two other terms that i've well three other terms i've been asked a lot about lately is lean fat and rich well fat and rich means the same thing there over here on the right side of the Stoich gauge. This means we got more fuel, fat or rich, means we got more fuel than we need for this equation to work. This equation is ideal, this ratio is ideal to make the fuel as combustible and burn as much of that piece of fuel as possible in the compressed environment of a combustion chamber under high temperature and causing gases to expand and cause that to transfer to mechanical work of moving the piston and rotating the crankshaft. On the left side, we have lean. Lean means we have more air than we need to completely burn our one part of fuel. So the way it was always explained to me that I found it the easiest to follow was to think of the right side of the two little dots as rich and its own thing and the 14.7 is not changing. And when you're looking at the lean side, think about the left side of the two little dots and the one's not changing. So if this is a perfect fuel air ratio, in a rich condition, we're going to have something that's one plus. Now this can go to the point of flood it. Flood it, which is also something I've been asked a lot about lately because the younger generation doesn't have as much experience with carburetors as us older guys do. Fuel injection systems pretty much don't flood unless something's really bad. And when the reason it was called flooding was either the carburetor had a problem and was running over or flooding over, or it was just dumping massive amounts of fuel down into the cylinder and fill in a chamber up and then you could get a hydro lock and this can happen with the fuel injection too if an injector gets stuck open it'll flood the cylinder with fuel and as the piston comes up and tries to compress it it'll bend the connecting rod so now we know what flood it is on top of our discussion of rich fat stoich and lean so that's all the things that i all the ones i wanted to cover the definition on and remember, fat and rich mean the same thing. But really, when you're talking, as you get around more car guys, you'll pick up on it. Rich means it's really rich. It's puffing a little black. It smells like raw fuel out behind it because there's not enough air because this number hasn't changed. We're on the right side of the dots. This number hasn't changed. And there's not enough fuel, or enough, excuse me, enough air to burn all the fuel that we have in the combustion chamber, so fuel's going out the back, we're smelling it, it's still burning as it's going down the pipe and it's making soot. Now, in some cases, you'll hear us say fat. That means we're some number slightly above one. 
that could be 1.05, 1.04, you just a little heavy on fuel. Now you start getting up around 1.5, 1.6, that's when it starts stinking. And there's some point right in here where it don't even want to run because there's so much fuel in there that it actually puts the spark out. It won't light. It's got too much fuel and it won't stay vaporized. And if it's not vaporized, it won't light as easily as it does when it is properly atomized. When you're running power adders, nitrous, turbo, blower, that sort of thing, then you want to be a little rich because it's a safety margin in case your secondary fuel system fails or your primary fuel system that's also doubling as the fuel side of your power adder fails. You got a little bit of a cushion there so that you don't go lean. When you go lean, especially under a power adder condition, it acts like a cutting torch. You're in there, you're compressed, it's that whole, you know, it's a different environment because it's the atmosphere's under pressure. You're inside of a pressure cooker. It could tear your engine up. So you want to be a little fat or slightly rich to help protect your parts. The bad side of being fat or rich when it pertains to a bracket car, which this discussion is primarily about, like most of the discussions we have here at Drag Racing Basics, is that as the night goes on, particularly in the south, your air gets cooler and heavier. Now, cooler, heavy air has more oxygen in it than hot, dry air. So, when you already got more fuel than you need, like let's say you're sitting here at your 105, 104, or maybe you're at a good solid 1.1, 1.2 on the fuel side. Keep it in mind, the 14.7's not changing. But now the night air changes. You've been running seven seconds all day. So you've been sitting here doing seven O's all day. You're in a seven O to a seven O three kind of day. You've been on the tree. Your 60 foot's consistent. You're going rounds. So now you're five, six rounds in. It's getting late in the night. The sun's dropped off. It's a beautiful Carolina evening, beautiful Virginia evening, wherever you might be. And this nice, cool, damp night air comes in off the sound or up out of the swamps. Okay. Now, this 14.7 is going to change because there's now, for whatever you were adjusted at, now there's more parts of air. But those parts of air aren't going to go over the 14.7 that you need. They're going to close the gap on that fatness that you had, that richness. Now you got enough air to burn that fuel. And the next time you go out, you run a 699 or a 698. So you ran to 699 or to 698 and you broke out. None of your other numbers changed. And that was because the air got heavier and that additional oxygen lets you burn that overage of fuel. You made more power across the pass so you went a little bit faster and you broke out. Now, let's look at the other side. Now remember, when you're looking at this side, the one's not going to change, the 14.7 is going to change. So how do we get lean? Lean means we don't have, or we have more air than we have fuel. We don't have enough fuel in this one part of fuel to go with the amount of air we have. So what's going to happen here is our fuel, instead of being 14.7, let's say that it's 14.9 or 15 parts of air to that piece of fuel. And we've been running that same 70 to 703 all day. Everything's great. And we still got our 7 dialed. We've ran a couple of 01s, a couple of 02s. We've gotten lucky. We've got them on the tree. Maybe somebody red lit. But your number's been consistent throughout the day. But in reality, you were a little bit lean. So now the nighttime comes. A little bit more air goes in here. Got that same cool night air coming in off the sound or up out the swamp or out of the woods or wherever it decided to come from. In that case, now we're going to shoot up to a 15.2, 15.3 parts to our one part of fuel. We're not going to go any faster. In fact, we may slow down because it'll get leaner. This will make it even leaner and it'll get a little hotter 
and that's going to drop our speed a little bit or nine times out of ten keep you about the same so instead of running a seven this pass we went out and and we ran a 709 instead of that 703 we've been running or more realistic would be like a 704 or a 705 when you're bracket racing anything you can do to help yourself not break out if you've been on the tree all day and you've been consistent with your shifting and your 60 foot hasn't changed now you might see a 60 foot change here you probably won't because that's not enough difference really to drop it that much but there is a good example of lean fat rich we touched on flood it just because a couple of people did ask about what does the flood it mean and it all comes down to being stoich which is 14.71 parts of air to every one part of fuel so i hope you found that informative entertaining if it maybe if you got a question ask me down in the bottom maybe i can expound upon part of it for you shed a little more light this is one of those things where it, it's good to know it it's a basic but you have to tailor it for what you're doing that's the reason i touched on the power adders when i was talking about the secondary fuel system that was about having a nitrous system just in case you didn't pick up on that so as always practice your skills learn a new one think outside your box ask yourself questions things that you don't readily know an answer to or you think you might could learn more about go do some research ask a question watch a youtube video study read a book help yourself get better you'll be surprised what it'll open up it'll help you think of other things and other ways to approach the different problems and tasks and repairs and adjustments and modifications that you need to make and like i've said in some other videos it's taken me a lifetime to learn all this stuff that you see me make these videos about and some of it i've just been doing it longer than others but anybody can do this it just takes a little effort and a little thought and a little willingness and don't be afraid to mess up the first few times as always practice those skills learn a new one turn them into craftsmanship apply them to your different disciplines you never know how far they'll take you until next time thanks for watching this has been fab race mod repeat have a great day.